This video is going to help you with the second week of your final project. Last week we added, we made drum beats, okay, and this week we're going to add a bass line to that drum beat. All right, so we're going to open the project that you worked on last week. Every week we're going to be adding to it and building on top of it. Okay, so you're going to click your little Soundtrap link right here, and that's going to open up your project. Now, since you already started this project, you can just go to Soundtrap.com, all right, and log in. And then you should be able to just click your final project and open it. Okay, and it should look like this because you already made your drum beat. Okay, so you have your first section right here, second section right here, all right? So it should look something like this. You should have your two sections of your drum beat already made. Okay, so today we're going to add a bass line. And to do this, it's I highly recommend that you wear headphones or AirPods or earbuds, uh, just something other than a phone or a computer speaker. Uh, the reason being is that the bass is a little hard to hear if you're not using those headphones uh, because it sounds very deep and sometimes those speakers just can't play it. Okay, so I really recommend using some headphones. It's really going to help you hear exactly what you're putting into your song. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to add the bass by clicking our little loops library up here like we've been doing. And then we are going to click bass. We're also going to click MIDI, M-I-D-I. -I. We're going to click this as well. The reason we're clicking this is because it's going to help us a little bit later with our extra credit if you want to do it. Okay, so we're doing bass, MIDI. Now this is going to give us all of our bass loops that are MIDI files. And MIDI file just means that we can edit it a little bit more than some of the other ones. Okay, so here we have our... Now, it should be already set on any scale over here. So what we want to do is we want to click this little triangle and we can change it to minor scale or major scale. Now this is going to help us with the sound of our song. If you want your song to sound sad, you're going to click minor scale. If you want your song to sound happy, you're going to click major scale. Okay, so sad is minor, happy is major. So this is where you really start to decide the mood of your song. I want to go with a sad song, so I'm going to click minor scale. Now this is going to give me all these bass loops that have a sad sound. Okay, and just like we've been doing for the last month or so, you click a loop and you listen to it. So we'll listen to a couple and we'll throw some in here. to a new track start right at measure one here and that should go from measure one to measure eight and here's our first section of our baseline now let's get our second section in you can do that uh, by clicking anyone you want again um, I recommend using one that uh, has the same name but maybe a different variation so I used bass fatness 2 here so maybe I'll use either number one or number three for the next one I think I like this one better, so I'm going to throw it in, and I think it'll go well with my second section of my drum beat. So once you have these in, let's go back to the beginning. You can do that by clicking this little guy right here, or you can also drag this back to the beginning, and you click play. right there. And there it is. Okay, so we added our baseline. We don't need our loops anymore. We're done. We have section one, section two. That's great. Now, you also need to change the volume, just like we've been doing. Okay, you can do that by clicking the knob and either dragging it down or up. I like a lot of bass, so I'm going to move it all the way up, all right, and now it's going to sound nice and loud in my song. So once you do this, you are completely done. You do not need to do anything else. This is a very short week. We're missing Monday, uh, so there's not a lot to do with your project. We're going to make it really simple. You add the bass line, you change the volume, done. Okay, so you're going to click save, 
and then you're going to click Exit Studio, and you'll be done. But if you want five extra credit points for this part of your project, all you need to do is change the bass instrument. Okay, so you already have your loops here. Right? But what we're going to do now is we're going to change the instrument. So we're going to go over, we're going to click on our track here, and we're going to click Show Instrument up top. So again, we're going to make sure that this track is selected. We're going to go Show Instrument. Now you should see something like this. And now these are just all of our notes. All right, but we want to go from piano roll and we want to go to instrument. So if this is purple, you want to make sure you make the instrument part purple. You do that by clicking it. Okay, so now once we get here, you should see a little piano, but what we're worried about is this little box right here. This little box tells us what our instrument is going to sound like. Okay, so if I play, I can start to change. It's the same notes, but now the sound is different. So scroll through them and find which one you like. You can also click the middle here, and it's gonna you be able to see the name of all of them. I'm just going to have to restart this. Okay, so you can choose anyone that says bass. So bass acoustic, bass electric, bass kick, bass synth. Okay, so I like uh, kick 808. It's a real hip hop sound. So this is a good one. This is one that I like. So I'm going to X out. And now I change the instrument. If you do that, you get five extra credit points. Very easy. Okay, and then you can close out of this right here. And now you are done. Save. Exit studio. And if you have any questions, I'm always here to help.